Put this fancy thing on. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> it's like all the way under your chin. I know. I have a huge neck, so <laughs> this is a problem. All right, I'm gonna adjust this again. I don't like the way this works. Maybe that yeah, that that's perfect. Look at that. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so before we get all the way into this, is this the one where we have to leave every night? Yep. Okay. You're supposed to kill pigs. Apparently so, and I guess I need to get back where I can see chat. Cool. Can I just move that? No. And we're not vegetarians anymore. Nope. Can you just go away? The stupid... Nope. I ain't going nope. Not you. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm breaking into space. Oh, well. Well, it's nighttime, so note that. That's why I'm breaking into safes. Oh, yeah. I think that's actually what we had planned on doing anyway. I, I mean, I was standing back here, so I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you know, you know. <clears throat> Might as well uh, wait a bit before we start on the doohickey. The doomahickey. Gotcha. I'm kind of making a tune. <laughs> Searching the stuff, doing the things. It's nighttime now. That it is. Let's see if we get eaten alive by anything. We have no escape plan, by the way. We also aren't allowed to have bedrolls, so. You know what we could do to be safe is. If I can do this. <clears throat> That's smart. Why? Okay, I did it. Well, that's all we're getting, so. All right. <laughs> I'm undetected so far, so there's Yeah, that. I mean, not bad, right? Oh, man. I am excited about this. I don't even know where to start. When we get started, anyway. I don't know where. <laughs> Like, do we start with what they are, or... Like, how much they've spread so fast, or... Who, what, when, where, why, how? I feel the need to look up how much they've spread so far. <laughs> I misplaced all of my research. I don't know anything about anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I get for being proactive and doing stuff at work. Probably. Well, that wasn't help helpful. So I can try to be productive as we go. Ooh, I got the AK schematic. Like you forgot the productive part. <laughs> I got a little data. Okay. 
Well, shall we just begin? Sure. So today's topic, we're talking about ticks, Lyme disease, and the alpha-gal syndrome and how they've spread since uh, roughly 1975. There are a... Uh, Oh, that's insecure. I'm like sitting here beating up a safe. <clears throat> <laughs> to put this in perspective, we didn't have Lyme disease cases until uh, 1977, I believe it is. And it wasn't identified until 1981. We're going to come back to that. But to give you an idea, like the first year <clears throat> of actual reported cases was less than 10,000. And reported cases now... Um, are around 25,000, but the estimated cases, according to the uh, HHS and the NIH, which is the National Institute of Health, range from 100,000 in 1997 to about 300,000 in 2016. I don't know why they have those estimated cases. I'm guessing they're going off of doctor's data. Because then our doctors have to report symptoms. Um, so it's not like rabies where it has to be reported. So there's a, there's a lot of, uh, illnesses such as these that don't ever get tested for. So they're not confirmed. Right. So from what I've been doing or, you know, researching, it's been, oh, whoa, what happened there? It's been, uh, like misdiagnosed a lot, Lyme yes. and alpha, especially alpha gal. But so to to get put this in perspective, alpha gal kind of gives a lot of arthritis type symptoms, stiffness or swelling in the joints or muscles, as well as pain, fatigue, fever, or malaise. Um, and it also creates a bullseye pattern rash and can have headaches. That's from Mayo Clinic. When we go to alpha gal, um, it has a lot of syndromes that are flu like. Hives or itchy rash as well, nausea, vomiting, heartburn or indigestion, diarrhea, <laughs> cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, drop in blood pressure, swelling of the lips, throat, tongue or eyelids, dizziness or faintness, and severe stomach pain. Now, one of the other things I've researched along these symptoms was it can very much be um, not just vomiting and not just severe stomach pain, but it can give you diarrhea, like... Uh, it does say, but it can also be like horrible gas, that kind of cramping. <laughs> that was apparently I was odd. too close to you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're researching this in part because uh, Rick had told us, you know, hey, you should look into this, and so we did, and it became really interesting. So on this note, um, gosh, where do we want to start? Let's, let's go down the uh, the Lyme disease first. You want to do that? Sure. So Lyme disease goes back like millions of years. It's this very specific bacteria. And not only is it a specific bacteria, but they find it in ticks as far back as uh, some, some animals they've looked at that are 15 million years old. Cool. So I was interested. Okay, well, when was the first... Uh, animal to human transmission and if you're not aware the WHO the World Health Organization their entire pandemic model requires in phase three that they go to uh, from an animal to a human so it doesn't matter so much phase one and two as far as humans are concerned anyway if a disease exists prior what they really start to worry about is when it gets to humans. So why is this important? You want to do the, the island thing? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so in 1954, there was this uh, new lab created called Plum Island. It's just offshore in Connecticut. It's off the tip of Manhattan as well, like that little area there in America. And with this, they do all kinds of research. They're literally aligned with the uh, oh, the uh, Department of Agriculture and so on in 1954. 
So keep in mind the timeline, 1954, we're in the Cold War with Russia. And there was this government thing that has now been released and declassified to some extent, though not much, where they were trying to ruin the animals in the Soviet Union, basically kill them with biological warfare. This program was established again in 1954 with the lab. It wasn't ended until 1969 by Richard Nixon. So, they didn't close the lab. They were still doing things there with animals, with diseases, so on and so forth. They've actually come up with some vaccines. There's some pretty cool stuff that I read comes out of there. Well, in ar around 1977, we get our first case of Lyme disease. And... <clears throat> It's, keep in mind, this, this lab is an island. It's offshore, and it's just offshore from this little place in Connecticut. You guessed it, named Lyme, Connecticut, L-Y-M-E, just like the disease, because the disease is named after it. So I feel the need to throw in there that the reason that this lab was put on the island to begin with was to try to control any outbreak that way if an animal escaped it wouldn't be spread to other animals so the island thing was strategic like there was a point in it yeah precautionary measure it's a good one but the reason that it's called lyme disease it's found in lyme connecticut which is 42.5 miles away from the land it's right on the coastline and it started as an outbreak among little families, and it was isolated at first, okay? So I did a little digging, <clears throat> and it wasn't actually identified until 1981 uh, by a guy named William Bergdorfer, PhD. He wrote the whole paper on it. <laughs> Fun fact, guess who was in charge when he found it? Anthony Fauci. The, dun dun. the same guy from COVID, but wait, it gets better. <laughs> in 1974, guess who was the head of immuno immunology at the NIAIC, which is the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Stuff, Infection Control. Also, Anthony Fauci. Same time frame. I feel like if you weren't if, if you didn't tune in to our COVID episode, um, quick recap, Anthony Fauci's emails were leaked and it had a lot of information in there about how he was doing gain of function research to figure out how to get the infection from the bat to the human. And, uh, you know, in law enforcement, we say this probably isn't a coincidence if I had a third thing, which we may eventually find, I didn't have time to research much farther today because this was quick research, to be honest. Um, we, we'd go for three because that's pattern. Like, yep. Ain't no coincidence here. Yeah. <clears throat> but wait, there's more. <laughs> so Congress actually decided in 2019 that they were going to investigate um, this lab, the Plum Lab. Now, uh, they, and, uh, their timeline was from 1950 to 1975, which I thought was odd, considering it says it was established in 1954. So what else was going on there? But their exact purpose was to see if they were weaponizing ticks with Lyme. I could not Fishy. find any results on this at all. I have not seen anything that came to fruition from it or anything like that. I have, I have no idea. Anyway, there's still more. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the Nazi guy? No, you're doing a good job. But I need <laughs> you to put this into this. Please and thank you. And see if Andy can multitask. I cannot. <laughs> so it turns out it's worse than that one. I, I want you to combine them. Is there a workbench? Mm-hmm. Where? Like, oh, hey. right in front of you. <laughs> so, the Plum Lab was... <clears throat> well, let me back up a little bit. So, World War II happens, right? We got the Nazis. We got all this weird medical research stuff, which no one likes to talk about, even though the... Uh, 
to be honest, our medical research is like 40 years ahead because of them. Well, them in Japan. I don't know. I like so. So they recruit this German, this Nazi uh, party guy to help with the Cold War effort. We did the same thing, by the way, with Japan. And I think it's, it's either Unit 731 or 761. They actually might have been worse than the Nazis, to be honest. They're pretty bad. That's a different day. <laughs> so his name is Eric Traub. Uh, E-R-I-C-H-T-R-A-U-B. And he was specifically known in Nazi Germany for his biological warfare efforts. That's his, like, only job. And again, the purpose was to poison the cattle in the Soviet Union during the Cold War. I think, as far as we got anyway, that takes care of Lyme that I have anyway. Do you have anything else to add to the Lyme discussion? Negative. So that gives us a who, when, what, where, and why for Lyme. <clears throat> Oddly enough, and this could very well just be a, uh, you know, a, a coincidence, a legitimate coincidence, but the same time frame of reforestation has been happening as this goes on. And that's important because the tick habitats are becoming available again to the ticks. Deforestation actually kills the ticks. So, trade-off, probably good. But Anyway, there is another recent, more recent thing, which is the alpha-gal syndrome. If you don't know what this is, this is the one that makes you allergic to red meat. And it's more than that. It's actually, it can make you allergic. It has a different severity uh, levels, but it can make you more allergic to uh, all things mammalian. So apparently all mammals make this carbohydrate called the alpha-gal carbohydrate or sugar, um, except humans. So it's essentially like lactose intolerance, but for like everything mammal. <laughs> I mean, seriously, is what it's like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's meat and dairy. Yeah. <clears throat> well, now here's the kicker. There were a few cases all the way back to 1975. In fact, the, the leading doctor on alpha-gal syndrome has it and has had it since she was a little girl, and she got it in 1975. Crazy, right? So in part, this is going to be lack of knowledge of the disease, what I'm about to say. But in 2009, there were only 24 cases. And in 2022, there were 40,000 cases. Now, the reason that this is more significant, not just a number to us, is that we have a friend who's probably listening right now, but for some reason, our analytics thing isn't working again. Did that last week, too. I don't know, though. Nobody said hello yet. So that's if you're true. there, say hello. Yeah, that's true. We can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he works in a state park. They test the ticks every year. And what do you say? Two years ago, there were zero ticks in his national park. That had alpha gal, and now it's what eighty five percent. He said, "I missed all of that." Did you really? Yeah. Oh when wow! When did this happen? Last week. The whole reason we're researching this. Why well, I, I missed all of that? I can't read the chat if you don't I, read it I out do loud. I do read it out loud. I don't remember hearing that. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> but, um, this was actually found in a second location and thirty years earlier in Australia. By Dr. Cheryl Van Noonan. I just felt like that was worth mentioning. Um, again, didn't have time to research that part. <clears throat> but where does this all go, right? So there are some really interesting things that have come from this alpha-gal ordeal. Turns out, if you haven't heard, um, several months ago, within the last year, I'm pretty sure, the uh, medical community had a ridiculously big breakthrough where they were able to take a pig heart and put it in a human and it worked it only lasted a few months but it did it did actually go it didn't reject so how did they accomplish this they actually went into the pig heart and removed the alpha gal carbohydrate which allowed the human body to use the heart i don't know about you but i find that extremely interesting and kind of creepy. 
Well, I mean, the DNA, right, is very close, but if that's the bridge, what I'm getting at here is if we can put an entirely different animal's organ in a human and it not reject, so then you can confuse the body into believing that it's its own organ, right? That's always the challenge with transplants. Right. Simply by pulling out a carbohydrate that makes you allergic to it, what would be the the difference in doing the same thing with a virus or bacteria in this case. Yeah. See where I'm going with this? I do believe that we are done with this town. So we are actually to the point where we need to take stuff with us and travel. And I don't remember, we don't need to go west because west we're almost out of room. Uh, we could go north so we can take that Hub road City. by where you're at. The other road, I think, goes to the Hub City. I mapped it out while you were, you know, talking. I got gotcha. you. Hub City's over So here. you want to go to the north one? Yeah. Okay. So what say you people? Any, uh... We're going to have to scrap a bunch of that stuff. And, oh, I guess I can scrap now. <laughs> Oh, you probably need to eat. Oh, I just took all the food. I just ate. Oh, okay. Do you have clothes on? I don't know. I'm trying to do stuff. Yep, sure do. Well, I'm scrapping all these clothes then. I just scrap them anyway, usually. <laughs> um. Boom, boom. Oh, it's not very good. I guess I should just read that then. Yeah, I'll keep that. That in there. Those in there. So now I'm curious. I'm sitting here thinking like, what were the Nazis going to do with it? Was it just going to be like war or was it going to be something else? What are we talking, you know? What were the Nazis going to do with the biological stuff? Yeah. I mean, could you imagine how you need to drink? Detrimental. Well, you were in the thing and it would be. Like, I mean, look at a tick. It's tiny. Yeah. And they make babies very quickly. Also, yeah. <laughs> it would be so easy to release one tick into a country and completely devastate their entire economy. Yeah. So... You know, on that, and especially nowadays, we actually have the technology to do some pretty crazy genetic stuff with insects. Uh, CRISPR, right, is a thing. C-R-I-S-P-R. -R. It's an acronym. I have no idea what it means. So the thing with CRISPR, <clears throat> there was a um, ethical problem in Australia because they figured out they could actually eliminate all of the rats because they have, like, a really big rat problem. Mm-hmm. But you can't eliminate all the rats because then they're, <clears throat> they're actually food for other animals too. And so it wrecks the ecosystem. Yeah. Well, they had a similar issue in Africa. They actually found a way that they could introduce a gene into the um, How much gas is in this? mosquitoes. And if they introduced that gene, it would make every other mosquito or every mosquito it mates with sterile. And so over time, as those insects then tried to mate, right, nothing would happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so over time, it would reduce. They figured like in three years, it would reduce the mosquito population by half. Because they're trying to get rid of malaria and all that. So anyway, yeah, that was uh, that, that stuff we can do. Um, allegedly, we can make designer babies now. Like the whole Gattaca conversation we had like a year ago. Apparently, that's actually a real thing now. It's kind of crazy. Where are you? That way. Okay. Um driving off the road because I was looking at your screen instead of mine. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> but the Gattaca thing, right? Like, I mean, uh, you know, we're talking, you go in, you're like, what color are your eyes? You know, baby, 
what color eyes do you want your baby to have? Or, um, you know, you want to get rid of this diabetes gene and all this other stuff. Like, that's wild. Like, we can do those things. There was a guy in China, um, a doctor that um, two parents come in that are HIV positive and they were afraid of, you know, their children having HIV. And if you don't know, by the way, you don't genetically pass down HIV, but the uh, transfer of fluids on the way out of the womb is, is generally what gives the babies HIV, according to what I read from science people. <laughs> from science people. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so, that being said, though, the... Um... Oh, dear. Yeah. That being said... The... How'd you kill it when you shot it in the butt one time? It was a good shot right through the hole into the heart. But... <laughs> so... What he did, though, was he went through and he turned off the protein that allowed for HIV to infect the children. And they did have twins. Now, will this turn into some weird, horrific, like, this is how we actually get zombies thing? We don't know. Well. But they, they did come out, by the way, without HIV. Which is wild to me. So there's like antivirals and stuff that you can take anyways for things like that. Yeah, but he turned the gene off. Right. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's possible to have HIV and have a baby safely. <clears throat> but, so, this, back on the, the tick thing, okay, so this, like, I, I don't really care about the ticks. Like, they're just a delivery system, right? Yeah. But what scares me about this whole thing, okay, this lab. Oh, yeah. That they're, like, the reason I pointed out that it was an island and that was part of the agreement to start the lab is because they wanted to contain any outbreak, right? Well, as of last year... This island lab has been moved. It is no longer on an island at all. And they have moved this lab, of all places, to Kansas. Get it real good spread. Kansas is literally the middle of the country. It's also in a very fertile area as far as, you know, trees and grass and weeds where a lot of bugs and insects and animals live. Yeah. In other words, anything that comes out of there can spread better. Also, centralized location. Yeah. So what's coming? And there's already some some pretty uh, interesting theories behind COVID being leaked from a lab. Very much so. I mean, I don't... Well, that's... Was that the that, experiment for what could happen in Kansas? Maybe. But I mean, the, the Wuhan lab thing for COVID is, is confirmed according to uh, like literally the House of Representatives. So, <laughs> like their committee confirmed that. Right. But was, I mean, that was bad enough, but was that just the beginning? Oh, I'm with you. I understand where, you know, I'm picking up what you're putting down, you know, smelling what you're stepping in, whatever. So, I do have a question, though. Like, what's the... Do we want to go there? Yeah, might as well. What, <laughs> like, what's the point? What's the point of the lab being moved to Kansas? Well, like, like to do all this stuff. Like, why... You know, there's always a why, right? Is I don't see the money in it unless we're trying to do another vaccine heist like they did COVID. Which is possible. They tried to do a vaccine, by the way, for Lyme, and it never worked, so they uh, stopped. <laughs> So, there's a dog coming. I think it might be stuck at the bottom of the hill. But, um, like, so many different reasons. Like, okay, so, the United States, you know, we're, we're a free country, yada, yada. Except the government has so much freaking control over us, it's ridiculous. We're even censored. Hello, YouTube. We're, we're listening. <laughs> but... Like, the the reason that they started all this animal research stuff or whatever 
is because if you kill a country's population of their food source, right, they starve. And the little bit of food that isn't affected, you know, like the ones that are prepared for all this bullshit, that food is suddenly worth a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, they don't even have to infect people. They can infect the animals and completely control the country. I was trying to get antibiotics. Oh, sorry. I guess I need some too, actually. Go ahead. They're not in there. Oh, I have them in my bike. Or I don't know whose bike's where. It's the front bike. Oh, I didn't know you were aiming. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's cool. I still shot her even though you tried to block me. <laughs> Whatever. Well, it could be a money thing. It could be a control thing. It could be population control. So the, I mean, so many different things. So the population control thing is kind of what I was thinking. And the reason I think that, um, if there is an actual plausible thing, is that if you look at a lot of the, you know, high ups and this and that, they're like, oh, yeah, population control, we're going to go, you know, we're going to get, um, you know, we have too many people, we're going to exceed our food supply and all that. But, like, no, we're not. And the reason we're not is because people are not having children anymore like they were. You know, we don't have um, people having 14, 15 kids anymore because they don't have to, you know, fill the farm up. We don't have the baby boomers anymore. Ah! Oh, my God. So without the baby boomers, you know, what? Oh, God, another dog. Without the baby boomer type generations, we really don't have a need to worry about the population. In fact, most accounts, according to the freaking United Nations, by the way, um, actually says that it's more likely that we'll hit about 9, maybe 10 billion people. And then it's um, going to decline rapidly from there. If you look at the United States, we have had a much, much lower birth rate than death rate over the past 20 years. Japan is so much lower that their population actually decreased. The only reason ours really hasn't is because we have immigration. And a lot of people come to America. That makes sense? Yeah. I think it's all about the money. I mean, I'm concerned about that because I, I don't necessarily disagree. I just wonder if it's, you know, we're going to have another, you know, we have COVID 2.0 with the vaccine crap, and we're going to see BlackRock make a crap ton of money again. Like, I'm not even going to lie, like, I just looked up a fund for the BlackRock um, I, I came across. It's this ETF thing they have going on. It's like, why are they putting so much money in there? It's their ETF, but, you know, what is it invested in? Because e ETFs are like collective... Um, like management broker accounts. I don't so, know. It just really annoys me. All this. I think this is a crossroads. I'm going to find out. I think it is, though. Yeah. It is. There's so many different reasons for all of this, but I don't, I don't even know that they're trying to infect humans. Like, I think it has to do with you kill the animals, people don't have anything to eat. See, I feel like even the even the most nefarious person would not do that simply because you don't want to kill your only food supply, like your main food supply, I guess. That just seems dumb. It's like, hey, we're going to do this so that we can control people, but there won't be any people because they'll all die. It makes no sense. Well... If you do a controlled outbreak, though, where you have 
a source of animals that is not affected. You yeah, know what oh, I'm saying? I, I like, understand what you're saying, but like, my God, I don't, I don't see how you would ever be able to manage that. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well, I mean, if it comes from ticks, you won't be able to. But it's the government. They don't always make wise decisions. Oh. And by don't always, I mean hardly ever. <laughs> yeah. So if we go north, there's another road up here. And we're not very far north yet. Um, you went east. I, I know. I was looking to see if it was, if it would continue to go or not. Hmm. Because crossroads, they normally have like a dead end street. Right, yeah. Did you go down any of the other roads? Nah, I just went north. Okay, because east also goes somewhere. I was afraid east would go to the hub city. Yeah. I just want to know if the road ends or if it take us somewhere else if we go the other directions. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy stuff out there with this. Um, you know, I watched a webinar for like uh, people that are suffering from alpha gal. Oh, well, here's a crossroads too. One of the kind of wild things to me about Alpha Gal, I'm gonna go west on this little fork. Um, it, it has so many symptoms like flu and all these other things, like COVID, you know, whatever. No, I have no no reason to believe that it's anything related to COVID necessarily, strain wise or virus or any of that, because it's not right. It's whatever. So, right. It's, a, it's an allergic reaction. So, by the way, there's a lot of mammalian products in medicines as well that people end up having this alpha gal reaction to. If you get bit a second time, you can uh, make the infection worse or the reactions worse. Like yeah. maybe once, like the first time you're allergic to red meat, and the second time you're allergic to dairy products, stuff like that. But. This keeps like, um, I don't know, evolving. And then also, if you don't get bit again over about a six year period, it does tend to reduce symptoms. I don't know. There's just so many little strange things. Like, why would it reduce? Is it, is it like one of those things where it just takes your body that long to digest it? I would assume that eventually your body would clear it out. I mean, that's the entire point in a liver. Yeah, but about <laughs> six years. Actually, it's longer than six years. It just gets lower in six years. It doesn't go away. Right. But, I mean, if you think about it, though, like, so. You're going to come to a weird spot in a minute with some cars, and there's actually a still road. It's just kind of to the right. Okay. Like, the, the body clearing it out thing, I mean... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, where your body processes things. Uh, the way it breaks it down. Filter. Digest. It's not it. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Jesus, it's going to drive me nuts. Well, the good news is I think I found out. Bad news is... I thought it was going to not be in the wasteland, and I think it is in the wasteland. Well, I'm driving towards you. Um, I'm pretty sure. There's a doggy. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, I missed the puppy, puppy. Where are you? Oh. Where is a dog actually trying to get me? Two dogs down. Um. Oh my, I don't know if there's going to be like mines in here. This might be oh, the dog just ball. went up the ladder. How does that happen? Is he still there? He just went inside the fence. Okay. Where? I seriously do not see this dog. 
The zombie just climbed a tree. It's a crawler. <laughs> I found the dog. I totally lost my uh, train of thought. I have no way. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, we were talking about like the why. <coughs> um, yeah, I lost it. I need a band aid, though. <laughs> um, anyways, how many people do you know that have only ever been bitten by one tick? So oh. even if it is a gradual process, right? You're going to be reinfected. Yeah. Kind of afraid to walk around in here? Same. I'm just, um... I guess disheartened to some degree... So, like, I used to really think that um, people were evil, and that's why they, you know, are always making all this crazy stuff, or, you know, running us the way they do, or trying to you know, the ruling class and so on. But then, on the flip side, I also eventually decided maybe people were just dumb. I mean, people are just dumb. But that's not the point. <laughs> but it, it seems so intentional. Right. So if, if COVID taught us anything, okay, the only way that they came out with a vaccine for COVID as quick as they did is if they had a vaccine before COVID was released. I mean, I, I don't hate that theory. But... It's a five to ten year process to make a vaccine. Well, if it has bad results. A lot of it comes down to funding. I mean, I do believe you can make one faster, but you, you can't rush the result of the final phase, which they just skipped the final phase. Right. But, I mean, even researching it to find how to make the vaccine in general. You know what I'm saying? Let alone pay for it. Yeah. The money's only one part of it. Yeah. The only way that they had a COVID vaccine as quick as they did, I have the auger schematic. Nice. I will let you read it because you're more of the auger person than me. <laughs> but um so if they're if they're if they've been in researching this alpha gal thing long enough to make a pig heart that could go into a person. They have a vaccine for it. If they can take that out of a pig's heart, they can take it out of a person. And maybe they can, and it may be a thing that, you know, it, it was a case-by-case -case basis or some shit, you know. Yeah. I, I just... Part, part of me is like, there's not enough information. And then part of me is just almost dumbfounded at the fact that this is even a conversation we're having. <laughs> it just seems so ludicrous to me that this keep like stuff like this just keeps coming up. Like I, I can't tell you how honestly disappointed I was that Fauci's name popped back up in this. Because as many people as there are in this world, there's no way that that's a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And I, again, I hate that. Like, I know it may sound like, you know, we're always trying to like find somebody to scapegoat. Or I, I really didn't want that to be the case. Like, I, I'm so disheartened by it. What, where, what the hell? Um, they're walking through the open. Oh, door. there's a lot of them too. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I don't know why I put my ammo up, but I did. Grab my ammo again. Okay. 
Well, we'll have to take care of that, won't we? I don't know what I'm stuck on, but I can't move. I don't know, like I said, it's just so disheartening that I guess I guess it's really the most disheartening because I want I want there to be there's more there's like three more coming. I want there to be real leaders that are going to actually take care of us. You know, I mean I will be the first person to tell you that you cannot and I mean this, you literally cannot um have a country rule itself. It won't you must have been bleeding. I must have been bleeding. Oh my god, where am I gonna spawn? I don't know, but this is not good. And why is this not working? Well, that's why. It's dumb. <sighs> Great. <sighs> I don't... I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Look at where it's gone. Are you, like, really far away? Um... Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> if I can make it there without dying. My ammo's in my backpack. So I only got so many weapons. I'm gonna avoid that guy for sure. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, I guess, you know, think about where this goes. Like if our... If our system is this broken, if, that's, if this stuff is real, then, you know, where do we go from? What, what possible hope do we have for long term? You know. Ah, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of hope. <laughs> I mean, we all, anybody who's talking and or listening right now, anyways, survived COVID. So, I just, I'm so so disappointed. In our system. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. And it's so unnecessary to be this bad. I think it's all about power and money. I mean you're you're probably right. It's just it's so dumb. Oh that's that's lovely. <laughs> I ran out of stamina as I'm getting surrounded by zombies. Oh, very nice. I know, right? I couldn't have done it better if I'd have tried. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Sadness. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I died. I didn't even realize I was bleeding. I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were bleeding either. Like, it made no sense to me. You're That's the only suddenly. explanation, though, is that I was bleeding. Yeah, it'd have to be, right? There's no yeah. other way that you die like that. So I thought maybe you stepped on a mine and I didn't hear it. That one was packing. A whole pistol. I mean, if I can get there without dying, <laughs> I'm going to go right past the drop. I can grab it a long way. Cool. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to make you a way in. Because Mo broke it. You could put a ladder. They can climb ladders. Not if you don't put it on the bottom. <laughs> that had to be Mo. There's a sandwich.
I've also never seen the zombies try to go up that. So that's new. I just watched a dog go up that. I know. Oh, oh! I thought you were saying like you still haven't. Oh, I understand. Just saying, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm confused. Very strange. <laughs> So you know what I think is very strange? What's that? There's still nobody here. Yeah, I know. Now, it is a different day than usual because, you know. We have stuff to do, but. Oh my god. Just run. Just run. And use band-aids. I don't have any band-aids, dear. No, no. You're dead then. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, there's no way that I'm going to make it to you. Um, let's see, it's 1,500. Let me... Let me mark this first. There's all our stuff's here. And then I don't have anything in my inventory, really. Make sure it I'm... spawned here. me in the same exact place. Did it? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's like... There's so many miles of wasteland. Like, there's no way. There's way too many dogs. Uh, I'm going to come to <laughs> you, but first I've got to... Well, first I probably need to figure out how the hell to get not so hot. I guess that'll help. Oh, there it is. I went too far. Get this gas. And I'm going to pick up the bike and come get you. Why, thank you. I don't mean to be so optimistic. I just, with all those dogs, there's no way. You're good. <laughs> uh, where am I going? To just straight south. Okay. I wonder if uh, maybe the screenshots, why people hate it. It is a tick. <laughs> Potentially. Oh. Why ticks? Why ticks? Yeah. I mean, why not mosquitoes? We know they can spread it. Harder to control. Is it hard to control ticks? I mean, the life cycle of ticks, something I learned researching this was. No, I mean, mosquitoes are harder to control than ticks because they fly. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. There's only so many ways that a tick can cross an ocean. And most of them are intentional. <laughs> yeah. Right, there's the drop, but not you. And I'm not going to stop until I get to you, so... Okay, well, I'm going to kind of hang out here because I'm right on the edge of the no-no zone. And okay. I don't want to die. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Uh, I just was thinking, you know, would there be a better vessel... Than a tick. You know, airborne's always a thing. Of course, it doesn't have to be airborne, obviously. But. Right. 
And it may be, too, that maybe this is an experiment. You know what I'm saying? Like, So, maybe. But, you know, that makes me want to kind of question, like, is it possible that it legitimately was an accident? Maybe same with COVID. It wasn't actually an accident. My only caveat to that is freaking Fauci being involved in both. Yeah. Maybe he's just really incompetent. <laughs> he's accidentally destroying the world. Maybe it's on purpose. I mean, a lot of these high ups, including Bill Gates, who's the 10% donor, meaning he donates 10% of all the funding to the World Health Organization. I mean, they're going to listen to him. You're almost to me. Stay left on the fork. Okay. I just, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else would be part of that. It, it doesn't seem like... Like, are pe can people really be that evil? Like, I, I guess so. I mean, we, we have history to tell us that. So when I say an experiment, like, so Lyme disease and alpha gal, it sucks, right? But it doesn't kill you necessarily. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily kill you. But maybe they're using this as an experiment to there's a dog behind you. To see just how fast and how bad they can spread how this sort of thing. How in absolute hell did that not hit this dog? Piece of shit. I don't know, but I couldn't shoot it either. So, I feel you. I hate dogs. Sorry, everyone, for that. Also, this has kind of been a thing for a while now, so they're kind of flying under the radar, you know? Well... With this whole thing. They Yes, but, you know... Uh, really? So, if we go back and we look, right, we have so many different incidents like this. And they kind of gradually upscale. So, you've got the dam... That flooded that town for whatever a series or God, I hate dogs. Hear me for sixteen damage on a bike, really? Yeah, yeah, that was kind of bull schnikey. Anyway, I, I can't remember here. the name of the city for whatever reason. And that was back in like the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Then we have, you know, uh, the city of Flint, Michigan, where they poisoned all the water with, with lead or with iron rather. That was lead. Or was it iron? I think it's lead. Yeah, it's lead. You poison the entire water supply with lead. We have uh, all the flus and the epidemics, right? COVID, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're starting to upscale. You see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. Like, we get bigger and bigger. Yeah. By the way, you want to know... This is, this is kind of interesting, actually. You want to know where they found... The original um, Lyme disease bacteria. Where? In a mummy. That's not creepy and slightly terrifying. Yeah, that's the oldest known one. My question is, maybe it's the oldest known one and they found it there, but did they put it in the ticks? <laughs> did they bring it back to life? Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my concern. Oh, that's not great. Please don't be a mine in here. I was watching. I am actually trying to see where to go. Okay, yeah. I'm following you because I don't know where to go. <laughs> There's just so much dumb little stuff. I don't... It seems so outlandish to think it, but at the same time, it's... There's so much. And it doesn't seem natural. Well, a lot of it is so connected that there's no possible way for it to be a coincidence. You know, and I, I do believe in coincidence to an extent, right? 
I mean, I agree. There's... But when it's so connected. Like Fauci. Why is Fauci doing things? Why is, uh, you know, why are the, why is the NIA IC in both things? Which is still Fauci. So there's that connection, I guess. But why is it specifically diseases and not, you know, some kind of other weapon? You know, why is it always a biological thing? Why is it always something that's been mutated somehow and not a naturally occurring thing? You know what I'm saying? Like... How do we go 15 million years without a human infection? I cannot find a case of a human infection before the one that happens after the uh, plumb lab. But, so, you know, how does that happen? We don't have a single human case of COVID in its certain, you know, in its most recent forms until it comes from the bat, which didn't happen until Wuhan. Yeah. Well, so I think part of it, though. It's kind of like G-U-N-S don't kill people. The person pulling the trigger does. You know? It's past 30 minutes. Or 30 seconds. You can say whatever you want. Now. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, like I think people are getting too big for their britches for lack of a better term. And they're messing with stuff they shouldn't be messing with. And sometimes it might be an accident. But at the same time, stay out of it. You know? Yeah. The Tide Pod's not going to kill you unless you put it in your mouth. That's a whole other topic, right? So <laughs> social engineering. Make us stupid. So yeah. So we can't fight back. Oh, way too far. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah, we did, I guess. Do I see a dog? Yes. Dude, you are so far away from me. Whatever. I'm tired uh, of that. Well, okay. I was coming to kill him, but you already got him, so I won't. Oh, I was going to die on that hill. Stupid dogs. So mad at him. Alright, where's my backpack? Yay, I got all my stuff back. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, regardless of what it ends up turning out to be in the end, one thing I do know for sure is that we need better leadership. And I don't just mean, like, you know, Biden sucks or Trump sucks or anybody's better than the other in that regard that we have. I mean, we need people that are actually going to give two shits about us as their people. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're a good leader if you have nobody to lead. It's something they seem to be forgetting. I really just don't understand a great deal of the problems that we're running into. Like, it really bothers me. And I, I don't think I'm dumb by any means, but I don't think I'm all that smart either compared to some of the people that, you know, exist even now in our history. I just... It just seems so silly some of the mistakes they make. Maybe I'm missing something, but you know what? If I am missing something, why don't they share those things with us? You know, some transparency would be nice. Because knowledge is power. <laughs> right. That's but, why they don't share things. But that power is also powerful. <coughs> Excuse me. If you share it with the people so that, you know, you get the collective consciousness to make decisions, right? Yeah, maybe you know, everybody's, not everybody's going to agree, but if you're like, hey... You know, we have this disease that we found uh, on a mummy, and we don't really know what to do about it, but we know it exists. We know it's in ticks. You know, what do you guys think we should do? And involve your people, and then your people are like, oh, hey, um, you know, why don't we leave that shit alone? Or 
yes, let's do this. Let's do it in an isolated environment, like on an island. And the people that are there, you know, do we have any volunteers that are scientifically minded that will, uh, you know, volunteer to like live there until the research is done and then maybe like six months after so we can keep the test, right? Kind of like astronauts. Cool, let's do that. Or hey, you know, as far as taxes go, something like that, you know, like, um, you know, this is our budget that we've been running. We see these as things we maybe don't need. Like maybe we don't need to spend so much on our defense budget that it's more than the next five countries' defense budgets combined. <laughs> That's actually true, by the way. Which is insane. Yeah. To be fair, we're the most feared military on Earth, but is that always the best thing? I mean, I'm, it's good for protection purposes, but... I don't know. Like... <laughs> Where is it really getting us? Where are you going? Well, I started to go the other way, and then I realized the time. So you were just going to leave me here? I was just kind of wondering. <laughs> I feel abandoned. I, I really think the biggest issue we have in our country is is the secrecy. I think people knew more back in 1776 when they had to have Paul Revere come right by and tell them the British were coming. <laughs> than we have now with the freaking internet. I mean, you're not wrong. This is so disheartening. I'm so tired of... <laughs> I guess I'm just really tired of being lied to. <laughs> like, I should, I feel like it should not be a thing that when I see something on the internet, I'm like, you know what? That sounds like bullshit. Let me do six hours of research and find all these obvious things that the media purposefully obviously purposefully misled us with and then we have a freaking youtube channel we have 299 subscribers it's not like we're mr beast with millions of people and they were shadow banning us for talking about covid and epstein yeah like that's a ridiculous level of of first amendment um violation in my opinion well i'm if you want to go th our internet searches are censored we have to use a whole ass different search engine to even get the results that we did find. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And I'm just saying that maybe there's more out there that we still don't know because maybe the one that we're using isn't as censored, but that doesn't mean it's not censored. And that, well, so like, I, I agree. I mean, I, I'm aware that the uh, government runs at the pace of a snail, but 2019 was, you know, it was like in April or something. So we're going on almost five years and we don't have results yet from a congressional order for Pen the Pentagon to research the Plum Lab. Yet, yet it moves. Something freaking happened. They're going to move a whole lab that is suspected of weaponizing a tick to inland America rather than on an island. And we have no information as to why that happened. Or the results of the whole investigation? Why? So supposedly they moved it because they needed more updated facilities for modern research. That's probably true, actually. And well, why can't you put that updated so shit on that island? We built a yeah. whole ass fortress that we couldn't break back into that the Japanese took over in World War II. It, it uh, I'll make it this wrong, but it had like six foot thick concrete walls. They couldn't bomb it. Like, why are we not? That's a that's a bullshit answer. Is what it is. It's intentional, is what it is. I mean, <laughs> and I realize where you're going with the talk to the people and give them the information and see what they think thing. But our elections are rigged. I don't like think they don't rigged. care what the people want. There was videos of them changing the vote count. I think that's all a distraction. I mean, to be honest, I think that the uh, the real thing that's happened is is we've ruined our education. And this goes back to Prussia, back with, with Wilhelm Kaiser Wilhelm the first. And second, where they realized that they didn't want any more uprisings, so they developed a school system, which is the same one we use in our system in America now, to indoctrinate everyone so that they're, you know, following rules, the rules they set. 
so on and so forth. Um, I, you know, I think I'm just going to dig this hole and I'm, I'm just going to die down here. Uh, what? This is, this is my, my forever home now. But what about me? I just, I don't want to be part of this world anymore. Um, I, how dare you abandon me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought, I thought we made it clear recently that nobody else will put up with me. You're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> well, I can't get out of this hole either, so. You better find a way out of that. I mean, I'm trying, but. There, it's let me. <sighs> it just. Ugh. It's so defeating. It is, and it's very sad, too. Like. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I've been a negative Nancy this whole time. Oh, I just seen you moving and it scared me because I thought you were a zombie. Hmm. I don't I just don't see a a way out that doesn't involve a great deal of stress. And by a great deal of stress, I don't mean like it's gonna just be anxiety, it's gonna be full on revolutionary whole new world as we know it. Oh, it absolutely is. Yeah, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> it. may sound lazy or petty or something, but like I just I've been fighting the fight my whole life. I, I'm kind of tired. I don't mind to spread information and whatnot and so on, but I, I don't. If I got a fight, I mean, I will. So, for the record, if the world ends, for whatever reason, or if shit hits the fan, or whatever you want to call it, it better be zombies. I've prepared my entire life for zombies. They're already here, man. No, I mean, like, flesh-eating, attacking hordes. Those are, those are ghouls. Whatever. Modern day zombies. Not all of us are living in 1862. You mean in accurate land? Where we <laughs> call things what they actually are instead of just some fan lore that was incorrect and everybody just went with it? I'm calling it what everybody knows as a zombie. Hmm. You know, everybody that wasn't born in 1962. <laughs> So it was literally just a, a hubcap. I thought it was a mine. Ah. Uh. It's a little disconcerting that no one's on, though. It's very unusual. Well, I mean, we're probably being live banned. Shadow banned again. We're saying the word tick, though? That seems odd. Because we've been pegged as conspiracy theorists. Uh, I mean, maybe. I might be digging on the wrong side of this headstone. Nope, they're running. Hello. I missed. I didn't that time. I got wood. I don't. Do you need some wood? It, I can give you it, wood. It was a joke. But yes, yeah, you could. <laughs> well, since we're in this little cage, I'm going to see about what's going on here. Huh. What? It's Stream status is good. Everything's good. Auto start, auto stop, blah, blah, blah. We have chats. Everything's good. Uh. 
Nothing's bad here. Where'd all the coffins go? If I go. Um, I mean, it's on there live now. Been shown to thirty five people. I'm stuck in a hole. This is as it is. If I can. Can't change the. Yeah, I can't change the thing. <laughs> well, this is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's fine. But I think as busy as our weekend is, we could call it. We do have a pretty busy weekend. I'd kind of plan on this being sort of a short night anyway. I mean, I'm just digging up dead people, so. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? You think our next series should just be... And we could even do it on this, like just a hundred thousand zombies. We just go out like and, to kill a hundred thousand zombies. Yeah, we go out and burn biome. Since we did the desert last time, maybe or maybe we just did the desert again, whatever. Build our base, get enough stuff to kind of get going, and then just start cranking out screamer farms. Um. So we're not gonna move every day on the next series, right? <laughs> No, we could do that. We could start next week and do that if you want. I'm down. I don't. I don't really like having to move every day, anyways. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be kind of fun. I think it'd be less distracting too. Instead of trying to search and do all that and stuff and talk, we could just kill crap. That's my favorite thing. We could even go for a million zombies. I think that would break the game. Maybe. I mean, that's not our problem if we break the game. <laughs> it's true. So, I'm down. Anyway. Want to call it? Yeah, let's call it. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. And I uh, realize that nobody watched while well, live streaming. But if you watch this later. <laughs> um, you know, thanks for watching. Drop us a comment. Yeah, comment. Like, subscribe. Like, whatever. But whether you like or subscribe doesn't really matter. But. We're just trying to get some information out. We like this interesting stuff. We hope you do too. Trying to figure out the proper format and that. So give us some feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see so we know you know, how to accommodate for that. Because we're just kind of having fun hanging out. We talk about crap like this all the time anyway. So we're just trying to share. Anyway. Until next time. Toodles. <laughs>